tank thanks to the mighty mighty berberina's gun turret machine gun cursed action build i don't even know what to call it she's coming out like arnold schwarzenegger in the terminator or something like that and just dropping people miskatonic with the big clarin blade plays as well do you think the ang is finally going to be the team to stop them gusky i mean i'm not sure bongo and epic obviously running the double healer comp as well so this is going to be a very very sustainable comp coming against ang I don't know. ANG are going to have to do work to burn through these. We saw them yesterday. Obviously, Burberry and Miskatonic between the two of them able to do a lot of damage. Interesting thing to mention is Miskatonic is actually running a fiend uh, fiend robe. Uh, oh, wow, cleric, cloth. Cleric plate. Cloth. So, Claren. I mean, you don't really want to be. Is it frost armor though? Because you don't want to be fearing people away. Um, hang on a sec. Did somebody forget their gear? Just going to throw it out there. <laughs> Did Bob Marley forget to put equipment on? No, it looks like uh there it looks like we are just restarting the match. There's a bit of an issue. Okay. Um so Miskatonic actually has dare I say it, fear aura. Oh no, never mind. Looks like we're all getting him. Uh has fear aura. So I don't know. Fear aura kind of seems counterproductive to stacking people on top of each other with the Claret Blade, but obviously there are some master plans here going on. Bio Boyer just pops appeared up. out yeah. of nowhere with that wow into the mortal agony, but Miskatonic just annihilated people and Anx oh, is in a lot of I'm trouble. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. He's using the fear as the follow up after he lands his mighty swing. He's using the fear to either disengage and he just kept cancelling Annex's generous heal. Boya is in super, super danger, but Rick Dangerous is cutting through him in absolute seconds. Bongo just manages to save his Clarence Blade player. Berberina, though, turning his attention to Rick Dangerous and destruction follows. They actually grab the midpoint in all of the confusion and take an early lead. Humble Iron Wizzy, look at this, he's fearing them oh, back oh. into his own team. So that was insane play from Miskatonic. Absolute godlike play there. Hits the mighty swing onto two and just collects two bonus kills and more importantly prevents any sort of invade from taking play because they've only just respawned. He, is. he actually herded them so they were together so they took the Claret play guaranteed together. There's nothing they're going to do about it. I love this player at Miskatonic. The only way they counter it is really hard damage onto Miskatonic. Rick Dangerous comes in, has no grudge at the moment. By Shudda has built them stacks up. Miskatonic obviously going to get hit very hard by that Claret Blade if it does hit. Rick Dangerous does get the death curse. It doesn't get interrupted by the wind wall that's kind of unnecessarily used by, uh, by Mench. Uh, Rick Dangerous does drop quite low to that Death Curse, and Miskatonic oh, goes flying oh, into Miska two again. Hank so low, but Rick Dangerous is going to go down because Miskatonic so low pressured the backline of ANG, and no one is putting pressure onto Miskatonic. The healing coming out, and obviously they have two healers to cover the pressure that they can sort of deal onto Miskatonic, it's... even with obviously the sarcophagus as well. Anx is getting here it very, comes, very here it comes. Fast. and here it goes the annihilation. Boom! Oh boy, it nice. pops out of nowhere. Oh. From Stealth hits that mighty swing. Bob Marley is going to go down for ANG, though. And this is a wrecking job right now. Gun turret himself, Berberina, going to cut through. Boy, Absurdia. Miskatonic getting credit for the kill. Down goes the cap again. Rick Dangerous could be in trouble. He does get tackled. Berberina unloading Rick with the leap to safety. Berberina's grudge not able to finish the job. Full reset, but an early 27-point lead. And this match has not even gone five minutes yet. Now we see a bit more of a stable reset from the teams. We've got Annex, Mention, and Boya all coming towards the mid. We've got a 3v3 situation as Bongo hangs around. Berberina actually looking to get the off cap, it seems. Maybe thinking about the invade, but it looks like safe play from both teams for now. Knowing that there's nothing too drastic going on. Looks like top right is going to go. To humble like Ron Weasley. Top left is going to go to the ANG boys. But Annex getting feared and shut down by Miska. Miska out of tricks now though. Has to be careful with that greedy, greedy cloth bill. Bongo having a little snooze on the point. Mention locks him down. But there's no follow-up during that downtime. Somehow Annex has survived. But there we go. Miska tonic with another more Alagony mighty swing. And 
Annex is just not getting to play right now. He's getting zoned out. He's getting feared. He's getting mighty swung. He's doing enough. It's a four-man tackle from Dio. Berberina picks up the kill onto Bob Marley. Another mighty swing coming out. Boya, very, very low with no healer in sight. Rick Dangerous getting machine gunned. Down comes a desperate prayer in the nick of time. But I think Miskatonic's charged up. He's going to fear Annex back towards his team. Great play from him. Rick Dangerous has that death curse. It's going to pop unless he can disjoint it. No, and the Mortal Agony timing was just there as well. Will Burbrina finish him off? No, Annex is quick with the Desperate Prayer, but mention he's been hung out to drive by his team. Another quick, quick rotation. Only five minutes have passed. And Humble, like Ron Weasley, are sending a message right now. This is dominating showing. I don't think we've seen A and G have a have a bad game. Really, they've been pretty consistent throughout, and they're getting just. This is a steamroll. I, I don't like to talk bad about people, but Miskatonic is just annihilating this team, and they have to do something about him. They need that Grudge Glaive just to rip Miskatonic apart. The tackle comes onto two. It actually, Anx is even just trying to auto attack Miskatonic, showing his hatred for the build as well. And Dio gets that tackle onto two with that royal jacket. I love this royal jacket from Dio though. And Bob Marley getting some stacked built and Miskatonic using that fear again onto okay, both. Just bouncing him around. And... Annex is just running for his life. He can't do anything here because he's just stuck to him. In comes a huge tackle. Annex quick with the cleanse. Miskatonic hits a big one, but now he's caught out of That's position and that cloth. That cloth gets punished finally, flicked out of position. Great play from Rick Dangerous. He ran out of steam at the absolute wrong second. Dio deep on the point, still able to land a nice three man tackle. Gets the sleep onto Rick Dangerous as well, negating all of his grudge time pretty much. Switches his attention to Bongo. Bongo's going to leap out of there. Both the caps have gone. There's still a monstrous 40 point lead though. Poor humble like Ron Weasley. So even losing this cap would not be too drastic for them. Dio running that royal plate armor, draining all of the energy from them. Rick Dangerous is getting low. Bob Marley. Mention Mel is practically out of energy. He is running energetic, I believe, on his hammer. So that's helping him regen a little bit. Berberina, they know the only DPS left is Berberina, but at any point, Miskatonic could pop. Slaps Bob Marley, lands a huge mighty swing. Wow, good disjoint from Dio. He manages to avoid getting hit by Boyers. That could have killed him as well. Rick Dangerous in a lot of trouble now. Dio pushing forward, Miskatonic back on full, pushing in. Rick Dangerous with that grudge though, turning his attention to the cloth. Claren, Miskatonic gets armor pierced as well. Bongo manages to stabilize him and Miska looks to go back in. They've all clumped up though. Dio could hit a huge tackle in a minute. Knockback from Epic does separate them a bit. Rick Dangerous gets knocked back. He has has that grudge so Dio goes to shut him down before he can do too much damage. Mr. Tonic's in there as well with that fear. Rick Dangerous not able to put out any damage. He's out of energy so he's going to drop his stacks as well. This glaive is really really struggling here. Meanwhile the tank mention dies to Berberina. The dots just ticking away. Boyer Absurdia, one hit from death. Annex actually gets clipped by the Mighty Swing as well. Berberina leaps into the fight. Annex now, no energy. The Poison Point into Splitting Slash. Great link up from Berberina and Miskatonic. Rick Dangerous and Bob Marley both get tackled on the point. Dio is playing out of his mind. This whole humble like Ron Weasley team is playing an insane game right now. Bob Marley into the ice block. Dio... Is like practically thinks it's done. He's about to wander off back to the tent. I think he forgot what was going on. This rotation again going to the humble boys. It took them a little bit longer to get it done. They did suffer their first death of the match, Gusky. Their so, first death. I mean, the, the fact they've only had one death is pretty insane. I want to talk about this is going to be controversial because we're seeing these humble like Ron Weasley guys do work at the moment and the fight's already breaking back out, but. The Royal Armour on Dio isn't really doing too much for them right now. And I have to say, a little bit of inspiration from Lugsy. I would love to see the Soldier Armour here. But just to interrupt that, Rick Dangerous got that grudge and just annihilated Miskatonic with the Demon Helmet as well. They tried to do everything they could, but they, it just gets healed through. That's the joy of having two healers. Only one doing this, the Desperate Prayer coming out. And now Miskatonic taking so much pressure, not able to get in there and actually build stacks. But Berberina's just having a free time of it on the left. And uh, now the top two caps have been taken, already at a point where ANG need three caps to recover by Absurdia and Epilet coming back down. That adds another healer into this team casualty dead game combination, and this is going to be really big to recover. That's a three-man mighty swing. 
coming out from Miskatonic. The Fears coming out from Ang onto Hanks. The Windwall away from Mensch just to try and stop the harassment onto his healer. But Berberina getting caught out into the Demonic by Bob Marley. And that's great play. They do lock down that kill. And this could be A&G taking the first 5v5 win of the fight that they've had so far. Bongo now taking some pressure. Bob Marley very, very low. Miskatonic should have stacks and a mighty swing available anytime now. But Rick Dangerous has that grudge, just putting so much pressure onto Miskatonic. And Anks is just taking a little snooze in the back. Bongo getting so much pressure right now. Mench is very, very low. Anks getting another CC. The silence coming out. And Miskatonic ready to hit something big here. But the fear comes out, not able to do anything with it. Bong uh, Dio hits a three man tackle into the cleanse from. I don't even know who has their cleanse there, actually. Uh, but their cleanse. Bob Marley getting very, very low by Berberina. But they've shut down a big source of the damage coming from Miskatonic. And now A&G able to try and take this advantage. But they're so, so healthy at the moment. Epilic hasn't burned through any energy. Bongo just keeping people topped up with that one-hand holy and the desperate prayer, obviously, coming out and being so huge. Dio caught in a bit of trouble here, but... Gets out of the demonic and can get topped up now. The Forest of Spears coming down by Rick Dangerous. Trying to catch as many people as possible. But Team Casual seems to be getting a little bit caught out there. The uh, humble team being caught and gathered up. Miskatonic is back. Maybe we can see something happen. Now the Fear Aura trying to gather people up. But no, Miskatonic went diving into the backlight onto the healer of A&G. Anx having to dive away. The splitting chest has come down. Miskatonic can hit a mighty swing at any point. And now they have no healer. And this humble team is able to start picking people apart. And now Rick Dangerous trying to do as much as he can onto Berberina. Berberina is going to survive, though. The silent, uh, the sleep, actually, during the grudge, the stun into Mortal Agni Mighty Swing. Bob Marley going to go down as well as Rick Dangerous. And Humble Team managed to recover it again, taking a 31 uh, point, like, 31 points to the end of the game. So over 60 point advantage. Dio is just running around on this mid-cap. Doesn't even bother resetting. And at this point, they can afford to be that sort of lasse with it. They, they really don't have to put too much pressure on themselves when they have a 16 kill advantage. It's pretty crazy how quickly and how deadly this game has been. Yeah, Berberina is still a one-man wrecking ball. Bearing in mind, this team only has two DPSs. The Hammer is not running Heavy Smash, not running anything fancy like that. So they all is reliant on Miskatonic and Berberina. And between them, they are racking up a body count. Nine for Berberina, seven for Miskatonic, and just both with the potential to chew through players. Dio, energy draining the whole time, deep in the line. Mention hits a lovely two-man tackle. Berberina now trying to go to work, but the purge came out very, very quickly. Nice play. Boy, you're Absurdia. Trying to shut down one of the healers. The problem is the Humble team does have a second one in reserve. Berberina now getting charged up. The Death Curse coming out during the Grudge. Not sure I like that. Wasted a lot of Grudge time by propping that Death Curse out. Three-man tackle from Dio. Very, very nice positioning. Rick Dangerous loses pretty much all of his Grudge time. Is getting feared as well. Mighty Swing comes out. Not too much damage from Miskatonic there. Stacks weren't quite ready. Eplik is slept on the north. Bongo still keeping things stable in the bottom. But Miskatonic's cloth armor lets him down once again as Boyer Absurdia going to slice him up. In the meantime, Eplik knocking everybody out of the way. Dio still holding the point. He's the only man on the point. Eplik in a bit of a sour spot. Has to leap to safety. Dio hits a three-man tackle once again. Energy drain doing work. Boy Absurdia taking a lot of pressure from Berberina. Nearly dropping there. Annex quick with the reaction. Berberina now gets flicked. Counters with the Royal Shoes to leap away. Bongo in a horrible, horrible position. Gets slept, but Boya actually opens up on him straight away. Mention comes through. Locks down Dio. Super hard. Dio surely drops here no the holy explosion save at the last second berberina in full turret mode onto rick dangerous wandering onto the demonic aura as well bongo and epic very very low on energy i think they're both running energy pots though so it should be okay down comes the druid circle of inspiration from epic miskatonic picks up the kill onto berber onto boya absurdia rick dangerous may follow if they can finish him off nice positioning on the wind wall from mention but here comes the aggression in goes epic for the aggressive holy explosions knockback Miskatonic gets slept, trying to relieve some pressure, but Berberina machine guns down the tank. Mention Mel of ANG 
going to hit the deck. There's nobody on the point right now. Rick Dangerous needs to jump on there. Bob Marley comes in as well. He's running the ice block, so he can buy about six seconds for his team. Rick Dangerous is going to have to pull out like Prom Night right now, but Bob Marley is the last man standing, and surely he can't hold on to this point. He will go into his... No, he won't go into his ice block. Must have already been used. Point's going to rotate. Only seven points remaining. Humble Light Ron Weasley looking to become our second upper bracket finalists in convincing fashion. Mensch actually walking out there and and kind of just just appreciating the fight and shouting GG. They're kind of just going to stand around, wait for the cap. And actually, I like this a bit of sportsmanship. It's uh, it's really nice to see. You always hear about people trolling, flaming, complaining, and actually, it, it's really nice to see a little bit of sportsmanship. Um, Burberina running around on the cap rather than going for the fight and farming kills. They are just going to take the cap. And a great game from these guys. 86, 86 to 7. I mean, that is an insurmountable lead. These guys are experienced enough to know it. And I just, yeah, I just didn't expect them to just dominate like that. So few deaths, so many kills achieved with only two DPSs. The healers playing out their mind. I really love the use of holy explosions as well, you know, aggressively when needed, just to break up that team. The Glaive, the Glaive Hammer Clarent Blade are so susceptible to that holy explosions. Obviously, we see someone like Primogen knows how to hit that mighty swing into a holy explosion and still make it connect. But not a lot of Clarent Blades can do that, honestly, Gusky. So thoroughly deserving their place in the top three. Humble like Ron Weasley. ANG will drop down to the loser's bracket, but they are nowhere near done in the Arena Masters just yet. 